Michelle, thank you so much for joining us and visiting about your filly that you have on Cow Pony Sales right now. Um, I'm excited to hear about her. She seems like a very, very nice three-year-old that you've got going really well. Um, before we jump into talking about her, why don't you introduce yourself and tell, tell us a little bit about you and what you like to do, and then we'll talk about your filly you have for sale. Hi, I'm Michelle Brown. I have been riding my whole life. Um, I love finding horses that people may not pick because they don't have the fanciest color or the top of the line breeding, but still have great bloodlines and the potential to be a barrel racer or a sorter or a pinner and, or working cow horse and even the fun obstacle courses. And I picked this mare because I loved how she moved, how quiet she was. And so I like to find them and then put time on them, break them like 60 days or something, and then put them in a, a home to where they can go excel. Um, I ride cutting horses typically all the time. Um, and then I have a few of my own that I'm raising. That's awesome. That's great. Something to keep you busy, huh? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Super. Well, I am going to share her page. I should ask, what do you call her? I call her Nilla. Nilla. Okay. All right. So Nilla is here on our website. You took some pictures for us here. She looks like an adorable, nice little compact, compact little filly to have around. Um, I'll share a couple of pictures. It looks like you've done a little bit of trail riding with her. Yes. Um, I will a even lot. play her video here shortly, but if you want to tell us a little bit about her and then we'll jump into her video too. Okay. She, I call her Nilla short for, um, vanilla because she's just a plain brown color. Um, and vanilla is typically just simple and it's coming brown. So that's kind of why I named her. And she is super sweet. She meets me at the gate, always just got her ears forward, does not pull back. She has, she likes treats. I always kind of give her a treat at the end of her ride. So she kind of looks forward to that. She likes to be brushed. She doesn't pull back. Um, she is really coming along and getting to where she's more consistent in her trotting and her loping, um, side passing better. I started kind of working on an open and closing a gate. Um, but other than that, she's just really nice Billy. Yeah. She seems like a very nice one. I'm going to start your video here a little bit so that we can watch that while we chat about her a little bit here. But, um, you know, she, she's, she's not bred bad. She's bred pretty nice actually. Yes, she is. I, that was one thing I really liked about her. Now her parents aren't exactly a, aren't money earners, but the ones back behind are. Yeah. And that was, and I have a show mare that is a daughter of electric or granddaughter of electric playboy. And that was something that really kind of caught my eye confirmationally she is really square got a pretty head pretty neck and she's really starting to muscle up just from being ridden when I got her she um, hadn't had any muscle because she wasn't being ridden and sure. I'm riding her five six days a week that's probably um she's grown a little bit too so I just feed her basically 14 percent pellet and brome twice a day so she's she's doing well and looking good Awesome. And it looks like I saw the dog earlier. So it looks like yeah. she's used to like uh, a oh, little yeah. bit of chaos maybe when she's working. Oh yes. And that dog will push pulls those poles around and play <laughs> the, the, the cones. And so, yeah, and she's used to that. And I've rendered down the road a bunch um, and she does pretty good with that because there's been people that have blown past, of course, it don't slow down, but she right. has well, I always just make sure to go ahead and stop, make sure she can see the car and she's not trying to get away or get, get scared. She just stands there and watches them go by. Um, on that one picture, I, that's a trail that I took her on like 11 miles. We rode between two towns and crossed a lot of bridges. So she did well with that. That was a long ride. Yeah. And she's even better than this, these videos here. Cause I put more time on her. So she's, um, even doing better than this. Okay. So how many rides would you say you have on her at this point? Probably 45 ish. I would say. Okay. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I mean, she looks really, really willing when she goes around. It doesn't look like you have to really like pull and yank no. on her a bunch or, no. 
you know, keep her like kick her like crazy to keep her going or anything? No, you don't have to kick her at all. Um, really very much at all. And I've been working on trying to get her to stop even um, more drawing her butt down. She's doing better. I just sit there and say, whoa, and she stops. And she is so well balanced, you know, just she doesn't trip over herself. She moves real nice in the rollbacks each direction. Um, she's not really like heavy on the face or anything like that. She doesn't throw her head or fight the bit. I just ride in an O-ring snaffle. Okay. So she, I like- would say too, I mean, she can turn like, go ahead. Oh, no, no. I was just going to say like, she looks like she goes really nice outside. Like I love this video that you sent in because she doesn't look like she's trying to like run away or, you know, take off. She seems really quiet and, and quiet. Yeah. I ride them out a lot because it's just for me, that's a good brain break and they just get exposed to a lot of elements. And there were some deer out there that were running and she kind of looked at those deer and was like, Oh, friends out here but other than that that was and there's water crossings we went across and I ride I've ridden her out by herself a few times and then I ride her out with her her uh, buddy because my mom and I ride a lot okay so she she's really but even when I was out there with her buddy she's not even winning at the other horses because I rode around the farm area and she didn't even winning when the other ones were winning back so she's doing really good and being confident in me and, and whoever she rides, as long as they're confident, she's going to be confident. Yeah, that's great. She seems like she's really well started, kind of ready to go whatever direction yes. somebody would want to go. I mean, you know, she could do a little bit of games. She could do a little bit of ranch work, a little bit of sorting, like you mentioned. She's just got a really good foundation on her from the sounds of it. And she's quick and athletic and, you know, strong. So, I mean, long rides aren't going to bother her a bit. And she's got great feet I don't have shoes on her right now if I was going to trail ride her more I was just going to put them on just so she was more comfortable sure, um, sure. but other than that like, she doesn't really the rocks don't bother her but I try to when I they're leaving barefoot I try to keep their toes just a little bit longer so that the rocks don't hurt them yeah for sure and here's just the video or a picture you had sent in too, just showing kind of like how nice and correct she is um, like you said, she's, she's correct. No blemishes, no scars, no, no, no injuries that you're aware of or anything no. like that. She has got, I mean, just, she's not a single mark on her that, I mean, looks worse. She's ever been injured, you know, in her earlier stages of life. She's been completely sound. And like I said, she's really starting to put on some muscle. And I think, like I said, I think she's growing some, but she's not going to be much taller than what she is. Yeah. She's a great size. That's for sure. I think you said she's 14 one. Is that right? Yes. That's what she is right now. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I, I would think she'll stay close to that for, for whoever gets to take her home. Well, yes. well, I sure appreciate you jumping on with me tonight. And um, if anyone has any questions, please reach out to Michelle. She's happy to talk with you about her, send you any more pictures or videos or answer any questions. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Super. Right. Well, thanks, Michelle. Thanks for jumping on You're tonight. You're welcome. Thank you for your help.